John, Diddy, Combs will not give up easily. The mogul's lawyer, Aaron Dyer, called Homeland Security's raid on his mega mansions in Los Angeles and Miami, which hunt, in a statement he sent to page six. Search warrants at Mr. Combs' properties were carried out with a flagrant abuse of military-level force yesterday. The disproportionate use of force and animosity on the part of the authorities, as well as the treatment of his children and staff, are unacceptable, according to Dyer. Additionally, Dyer stated, Mr. Combs spoke with and assisted with officials, but was never placed under arrest. Notwithstanding rumors in the media, neither Mr. Combs nor any of his relatives have been detained or had their travel privileges in any kind impeded. Page 6 was informed by sources that Combs, 54, and his group were unprepared for the incident, as he was getting ready for a spring break trip to the Bahamas with his kids. According to one insider, the media knew before him because there were already helicopters there. This unprecedented ambush is nothing more than a witch hunt based on baseless accusations made in civil lawsuits, paired with an advanced, coordinated media presence that leads to an early rush to judgment of Mr. Combs, Dyer asserted, as they were shackled and led outside. Lasers pointed on his son's heads, faces, and hearts, according to a person with direct knowledge of the events. The informant went on to say that Combs' sons, were not completely clothed and described an ominous scenario with assault guns pulled. Our insider informed us that Combs' properties in Florida and California suffered considerable damage as well, citing significant property damage to both estates. Our source claims that Combs' protege, 25-year-old Brendan Paul, who has been referred to in court documents as the creator of Bad Boy Records purported, drug mule was detained for using cocaine and marijuana for personal use. However, it's absurd to think that he's a drug mule. He was only detained, and he was freed earlier today. Brendan is the only person involved in his arrest, the source insisted. Following multiple lawsuits from both men and women accusing Combs of rape and sexual assault, among other things, which he has denied, the investigation was launched. The music mogul is innocent, according to Combs' attorney, who stated, No criminal or civil liability has been found with any of these allegations. Mr. Combs is innocent, and he will keep fighting to clear his name every day. When Homeland Security raided two of Combs' residences on Monday, he had planned to travel to the Bahamas to spend time with his twin daughters, Lila and Jesse, both 17 years old, a source previously told Page Six. The insider claimed that, Diddy was detained at the airport while heading to the Bahamas with the twins. According to flight data, his private jet touched down on Monday morning in the Caribbean, not far from Antigua. For more, my love, on page 6. However, according to our source, someone else chartered the aircraft. Hours later, a video of Diddy walking about a Miami executive airport appeared, proving he was in Florida at the time. On March 25th, Homeland Security Investigations, HSI, New York executed law enforcement actions as part of an ongoing investigation, with assistance from HSI Los Angeles, HSI Miami, and our local law enforcement partners. Officials previously revealed to page 6. As soon as more information is available, we will provide it. Diddy's ex-girlfriend, Cassandra Ventura, better known as R&B singer Cassie, filed a lawsuit against the rap mogul, alleging years of sexual abuse and sex trafficking in New York Southern District Federal Court, which issued the warrant. Within 24 hours of the lawsuit's filing, he settled, refuting the charges. However, when Ventura filed her lawsuit in November, a number of additional accusers came forward with similar claims, and Diddy has also denied any misconduct. 